Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a marketing campaign for an event complete with an RSVP form, all in Salesforce and account engagement. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a campaign record, and then we'll create a form. And specifically in that form, we want to make sure that there's an RSVP field so that your customers can say either they're going to attend or they're not going to attend. From there, we can then add them to a specific list for follow-up, depending on their response in that form. So let's get started. We're in account engagement here. The first thing to do is click on the campaigns uh, tab and then click new to create a new campaign. Let's say that we want to take our customers out to mini golf. So we'll start with the year for the campaign name, and then we'll say mini golf customer appreciation event. Under type here, you could choose event if you already have that created, or maybe customer appreciation might be the type of campaign we're creating. In this case, I don't have one of those values already set up, so I'm just going to leave it as none. And then make sure that you check the box for active. That's what makes it available throughout the Salesforce system. All those other fields are really optional, so I'm just going to hit save for now. And in the background, this is going to create that Salesforce record. It's then going to push it into account engagement so that we can reference it as we create the form and other assets from this point on. That's done. Now let's go over to the forms. So click content and then create a new form here on the right hand side. And we'll follow the same naming convention here. We'll say 2024 mini golf customer appreciation event. This is going to be our RSVP form. We're going to want our customers and prospects to sign up and let us know whether or not they're going to attend. You can put this form in a folder if you'd like, certainly helpful for organization. Choose your domain and then choose your campaign. We just created our new campaign and it's not showing up. So that's okay. It might take five minutes or so for that record to come across. In the meantime, I'm just going to associate this form with a fallback campaign, our website tracking one. So I'll select that and I can always come back here later and then change it to the campaign we already created. Then click next for the fields. And so these fields are fine. First name, last name, company, and email. You maybe want to add phone number as well. But the most important thing is we want to add an RSVP dropdown. So they have to select whether or not they're coming or they're not. If you look at our fields here, I don't think we currently have one that represents whether or not they're attending this event. So that's something we're going to need to create. Go ahead and click cancel. And just hit next here through the other steps so that we can save this and then come back to it. For a layout template, go ahead and choose whatever design you like best. Give the submit button some text, hit next, and hit next, and hit save. So we're just saving it right now. We're going to come back to it because we need to create a new field first to capture whether or not they're going to RSVP for our event. To do that, go to account engagement settings. And then on the left-hand side, we have object and field configuration. Go to prospect fields, and let's create a new one. I'm going to call this attending event question mark. And we could sync this with a Salesforce field, but we don't need to really. We just need this on our form so that when somebody submits it, we know that they're planning on attending. Don't need that in Salesforce necessarily. So I'm going to leave that blank under sync behavior. I'll choose use account engagements value since it's not syncing with anything. And then for type, go ahead and choose drop down. We'll choose yes and no. So the question will be attending event. Yes or no. Create that custom field. Now we can go back to our form in the content tab and add it to our, our fields, our questions that we're asking on the form. Click back into the form you just created and then hit edit form. Go to fields and let's add a new field. Drop down here. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's our new field, attending event. And we can change the label if we want. Maybe we'll say, will you be attending? The data format is text. And yes, we definitely want to make this required on our form and then choose load default data. What that's going to do is it pulls in the values automatically that we have associated with this particular field and click save changes. Click next, double check your settings here to make sure you're happy with the layout template and the submit button text. Under style, I typically like to use a label alignment of above. And I also like to use the asterisk as the required field character, but that's up to you. And now we come to thank you content. So for the thank you content, I'm going to write in here, thank you for submitting our form. If you want to be extra personalized, you can use this little lightning bolt here to insert dynamic content based on whether or not they said yes or no to that field. So we have one message if they say yes, thank you, excited to see you. 
and a completely different message if they say no, sorry, you won't be attending, etc. I'm not going to go into those details in this particular video, but we have other ones that cover how to create dynamic content, and this would be a perfect use case for that. What I do want to show you, though, are these completion actions here. So what we can do now is create conditional groups for these completion actions. So previously, what would happen is when somebody filled out that form, all of these automations would, would automatically fire for that person. Not the case anymore. We can actually evaluate what they submitted on that form and take different actions depending on those values. So let's add a conditional group here and we'll use the prospect custom field attending event. That's the new field we created. And if that value is equal to yes, we can then add them to a campaign. So we'll add them to our 2024 mini golf campaign with the responded value here if they answered yes. Now, we could even go a step further and we could have custom statuses on that campaign for yes and no um, or attended or didn't attend. But for now, we'll just use the default for responded. And we could create another conditional group here based on that same prospect custom field, but if they answered no. So if attending event is equal to no, we could then notify somebody internally. So let's say we want to notify the assigned user. Whatever person is already assigned to that customer is going to get notified. Or we can notify somebody specifically by choosing notify user, and then I'll choose myself here. So if somebody says that they're not attending, maybe I want to be notified of that so that I can reach out to them personally. If they are attending, then we're going to add them to a campaign with that responded status. We can add additional actions to this group as well. Uh, a common thing might be that you want to add them to a list so you can send them some automated emails. Well, we can do that easily here. Add to list. And let's say we're going to add them to this nurture list if they responded as yes. Ah, one thing to note before we finish up these completion actions here is if you're gonna have an action that adds a prospect to a Salesforce campaign, they need to exist in Salesforce first or that action just gets ignored. So for any current customers that already exist in Salesforce, this isn't a problem. They're already in the Salesforce database. It is a problem if you have a brand new prospect that fills out that RSVP form though. So just to be safe, I actually need to add an extra step before we add them to the campaign that assigns them to somebody. Unfortunately, we can't reorder these, so I just need to delete them real quick, and then I'll add them back after I add the step to assign them. Let's add an action here to assign prospect. I'm just gonna assign the prospect to myself, and now we can add them to a campaign, like our 2024 mini golf customer appreciation event. And then we can, of course, add them to a list. You don't have to have them assigned to add them to a list, uh, but for the campaign association, we do need them assigned first. If they're already assigned to somebody, Pardot is not gonna overwrite it. So this is just going to apply to those brand new prospects that didn't previously exist in your database. Go ahead and click Confirm and Save. If you click on this link, you can open the form and preview it. I'm gonna open up this link in an incognito window so that I can test it. Put in some dummy information here. Will you be attending? Yes, I will. Then click Submit. We're going to see the thank you content show up automatically or the dynamic content if you choose to add that. And now if we come back to our form, we should see that a new person has submitted it. Scroll down. There's our test person. Here's our test person. You can see on the right that they submitted our RSVP form. You can see what the conversion point was that converted them from a visitor to a prospect. If we look at lists, we can see that they've been added to the nurture list. And if we look at audits, we can see that they were added... And if we look at campaigns, we should see them show up under our 2024 mini golf campaign. We've got one member here, click view all, and there's our test person. So that works just fine. Let's try it one more time, but answering no. So again, I'm gonna open this up in an incognito window. We'll call this test person two. Will you be attending? Then click submit. Once again, we get that thank you content. If we come back to our form in Pardot, you can see we now have test person two has submitted. If you click into the person, what you're gonna find is that they're not assigned to anybody, they are not a member of our nurture list, and they're not in Salesforce if they're brand new. They certainly wouldn't be a member of that campaign. And we know that they're not in Salesforce because there's no cloud here next to their name. The one thing that should have happened though is that an internal user, myself, should have gotten an email notifying me that 
we had a new submission uh, on that form. If you look here, you can see that an email was sent to me from Pardot with information about that form submission. And we can see here that under attending event, they put no. What we have here is a, is a new campaign that's been created in an RSVP form with a custom field on it that our customers can use to say whether or not they're gonna attend the event. Then depending on their response to that one question, we have completely different actions within Pardot. If they say yes, we're gonna push them into Salesforce, add them to a campaign record, and add them to a list for future marketing follow-up. If they say no, we're notifying one person within the company so they can choose to follow up personally if they want to. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.